Oh, hey there. I was just eating some macaroni and cheese. It's good. I have a friend who can't have milk. I think about him a lot. Like, I remember growing up, uh, I used to get along very good with his dad. And one thing that me and his dad had in common was uh, we both loved mac and cheese. Uh, growing up, my mom would make it for me all the time. And uh, it was it was actually the same way <clears throat> for him. His mother, you know, my friend's grandmother, used to make him mac and cheese. And uh, like, and it was like, you know, it was his favorite food in the world. But uh, then when he, uh, you know, he had um, my friend, uh, you know, my friend can't have milk. Uh, he couldn't have it as often. So for him, uh, macaroni and cheese, something that he used to eat like nearly every day, you know, maybe not every day, but just about. But like, so that became a once in a while treat for him. You know what I mean? And you know, he, he you know, he, he, he was willing to make that sacrifice because he loved his son so much. But you know. So, like, one of the big things that would happen <clears throat> is, um, uh, his grandmother would, you know, make his father, uh, mac and cheese for his birthday every year. She'd make a big, like, tray of homemade mac and cheese. And, you know, he would bring it over, and, you know, he'd eat it for his birthday, and he would, like, you know, the leftovers would last for, like, a week. And, um, uh, well... You know, my friend, He's a, he was just a little kid at the time. One night, I guess he was hungry for a midnight snack. He decided to uh, try the mac and cheese. And he ate, like, a whole plate of it. And um, he can't have milk. He had a violent reaction. Um, he started, um, he had uh, he had a seizure. A seizure. Um, he ended up uh, soiling himself in the kitchen. His mom found him, and she was freaking out. You know, obviously she was super worried, and uh, they ended up having to call an ambulance. Um, I think, unless I'm confusing this with another time, he told me that uh, he was per that he was legally dead for a moment before the paramedics brought him back. I might be confusing that with another time, but uh, you know, they had to take care of him. It was a big thing, and uh, when he got ho when he finally got home from the hospital, he was you know. Uh, he told me about how he was trying to sleep in sleep, you know, at night, but he couldn't because he kept hearing his parents argue. You know, his mom was all like, "No more, no more uh, mac and cheese." You know, we have a son to think about. We can't be bringing that that you know that, that part of my language, bringing that shit into the house. And uh, the dad, like, apparently he's all like, you know, oh, you know, I can't even eat mac and cheese on my own birthday. This is ridiculous. This is too much. This is too much. And and she's saying, you know, like, you know, our, yeah, it's because of our son. Don't be such a selfish ass. We're all sacrificing for him. And he's just like, you're asking too much. Too much of me, you know. It's like, it, it, the only reason he's he can't have milk, he's getting those genes from your side of the family, not mine. And she, you know, they, they argued a bit. And uh, he said um, he actually heard his mother slap, uh, slap his father, and his, um, father, uh, he heard his father slam the door, and he heard his dad's car, uh, start up, and heard him take off out the driveway, and then he, um, he never saw his dad again. It's sad.